Have you ever wondered, in the grand tapestry of the natural world, how tarantulas, those eight-legged behemoths of the arachnid family, weave their silk? A material so delicate yet strong, it can hold the weight of an insect many times the spider's size. The process is as fascinating as it is intricate. Tarantulas, unlike their smaller spider cousins, do not spin webs to catch their prey. Instead, they are ground-dwelling creatures that use their silk in unique and fascinating ways. The silk production begins in a part of the tarantula's body known as the spinnerets, located on the underside of their abdomen. Now imagine, if you will, a tarantula at work. It's not spinning a web, but it's creating a silk-lined burrow. The spinnerets, like tiny, specialized factories, are busily producing silk. Each spinneret contains many spigots, each connected to a silk gland. There are several types of silk glands, each producing a different type of silk, some for construction, others for prey immobilization, and even a type for the creation of egg sacs. As the tarantula moves, it pulls the silk out with its hind legs, stretching and drying it in the process. It's a bit like a spider version of spinning yarn. The tarantula uses its legs to weave the silk into the desired shape. This could be a protective mat around its burrow, a cozy lining for its home, or a secure sack for its eggs. The silk from a tarantula is incredibly strong. It's said that if a strand of spider silk the width of a pencil could be produced, it would be strong enough to stop a Boeing 747 in flight. That's the power of nature's engineering in the hands or rather the abdomen of a tarantula. To summarize, tarantulas produce silk from their spinnerets, located on the underside of their abdomen. Each spinneret contains many spigots connected to different silk glands, each producing a unique type of silk. The tarantula pulls out the silk with its hind legs, weaving it into the desired shape and purpose. The silk is incredibly strong, a testament to the marvels of natural engineering. So the next time you see a tarantula, be it in a nature documentary or, for the more adventurous among us, in the wild, remember the complex and beautiful process they use to create silk. It's just another example of the fascinating intricacies and wonders of the natural world.